Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. We are back with another wig install and today's wig is from Nadula Hair. Today I'll be showing you guys their 7x5 Bye Bye Knot Lace Closure Glueless Wig. This wig is a nice water wave wig. It is 24 inches and I believe she is 180% density, but if I'm wrong, I'll put it in the description box down below. Again, this wig is 100% glueless, very beginner friendly, and very quick to install. So as always, I'm giving you guys a quick unboxing to show you everything that came along with the wig unit. Once again, Nadula Hair sends so many goodies along with their wigs. It's insane. So here is the wig here. I'm going to show you guys a nice close up of this lace again it is a 7x5 lace closure so if you would like to do alternative styles you actually can there's enough lace room to do that the lace comes pre-cut pre-plucked you also have additional security features like the adjustable elastic band the non-slip silicone around the wig cap and also the 10 tooth comb so to get started I'm going to add some foundation all over that lace that way the lace can match my skin color a lot better then I'm gonna go ahead and throw that wig on while the wig is on you want to make sure that everything is centered everything is fitting correctly if you need to tighten the wig you can use the adjustable strap and tighten it while it is on your head as well So I'm going to go ahead and get all of the excess hair away from the lace. That way I can see what she is really looking like. I did notice that the lace was kind of lifting as I was combing the hair back. So I may have to add some spray just to make sure that the lace is laying in place and it's laying as flat as possible. So here is a close up of the lace and as you guys can see she's laying pretty flat it's not too bad. Now some things that I noticed in person which I don't think you can see on camera is that they're like these tiny pieces that are sticking up and this is where I decided that I wanted to add a little bit of spray just to help out with that. Now my lace melting spray I do not consider it to be glue. It's crazy because I've actually had someone argue with me about that before that if you had to add product it's no longer considered glueless. That's your personal opinion. Lace melting spray to me is something that is super light It's literally just a spray so I do not consider it like a glue type of aspect and also keep in mind it depends on how the wig looks on you if you throw the wig on and you're like oh this is perfect I don't need to add any additional product the lace is laying completely flat then obviously you don't need to add any spray so that's just one of those preference situations but after I allowed that spray to dry I did go ahead and just make some room for a little bit of baby hair that I wanted to add it just to help cover up the ends of that lace Now I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of more foundation just to make sure that the ends of the lace matches my skin tone and everything is blended in. So here is a close up of the lace. She's looking really good. So now I'm going to go ahead and just cut that hair and just give myself a little bit of baby hair. Y'all know I'm not a baby hair girly at all. So this is going to be completely light and very natural. All right, baby hairs are done. I'm gonna give you guys another close up. She's looking really natural. It's looking like a natural hairline, my natural hairline at that. So I was very happy with it. So again, you guys, this is a seven by five lace closure. So when it comes to styling, it's completely up to you as to what you wanna do. I'm kinda over the whole middle part, side part ordeal. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give myself a little throw over type of thing. And what made me wanna do that is just because of how natural that hairline was looking. And also the water wave texture is just really pretty as well. And I just felt like I could pull it off so I went ahead and made room for that and then I just ran my hands through the hair just to get rid of any additional shedding which was very minimal
So now we're just going to work on one side at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and add some water. Water wave textures to me are very simple. They are very easy. And normally what I like to do is add a little bit of water. Well, mostly water. And if I do need to add a little bit of product, then I will. So it really just depends on how it looks after I add the water and detangle. But I'm going to go ahead and thoroughly detangle the hair before I do anything else to it. That way I can get rid of all the shedding, tangling, etc. I didn't really have any issues as far as tangling. And the shedding to me was pretty minimal to average so I wouldn't necessarily complain about that but I know everybody has their own preference but I did give you guys a couple of clips just to show you how minimal the shedding was. Okay, this side is officially completed. I'm gonna give you guys a close up in a second. Water wave textures are very pretty to me. They are very effortless, which is why I keep the styling portion of them very simple. I did the same thing to the other side, and for some reason, this side seemed to have a little bit more shedding than the other side. I'm not exactly too sure why, but after I got all that initial shedding out, I didn't necessarily have any more issues with that. Like, I didn't have crazy amounts of hair on the floor. It was just that very first detangling session where I had all that shedding. So this is how the hair looks while it is fully detangled. It's still wet at this point, but I just wanted to give you guys some close-ups just so you can see what the texture is like. As far as any product, I added very minimal gel to the very top of the wig just to help with the flyaways and a little bit throughout the hair as well. That clip was shown just like a minute ago when I was talking to you guys about the shedding. So if you want to go back and see that, you definitely can. I did not add a lot of product at all. But this is a close-up of the hairline. It's looking really natural. It's looking really pretty. And then this is how the hair looked when it was completely dry. Again, very pretty, very full, very effortless. This is the type of wig that I would love to wear during the summer. But comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this wig unit. Let me know if this is something that you would love to wear during the summer. I will have the direct link listed in the description box down below. So make sure you guys check it out. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you guys next time.